here's the one that you built. And Alice is telling me, here's one which is better. So you did a suboptimal job. Let's see why we can explain politely to Alice, you're wrong, that this one is just as good as yours. Or it might be better, but it's just as good. So remember, when you have duplication among weights, you can have many spanning trees which have optimum weight. Just a special case. Suppose all edges have weight 1. If all edges have weight 1, then any spanning tree is optimal. But you can have different weights, and you can still have many different solutions for the optimal tree. So Alice might be right that her, her spanning tree is optimal, but I claim that mine is optimal too. And here's the idea. It involves the exchange principle. Here's my solution, and here's her solution. We might have some common edges in our solution, but if they're not identical, there's one in hers, which is not in mine. I'm going to use the exchange principle to put it in. So here's what I'm doing. I've got a cycle up there, which is my stuff. And I've got an edge E that is an Alice's answer, which is not in mine. Now, what's the exchange principle say? Look along that cycle in my tree, and I could remove any edge on that cycle and put in Alice's. So, what does that mean? Now, since they have the same number, there's one over there which is in my tree, which is not in hers. So I just walk around until I find that edge. And then I take that one out and put in hers. And I got a tree. My, my, it, since mine is, so you think about the moment at which that edge came in. And you would have selected Alice's E rather than the one F if it were better. So it's not. And so that means that the weight of E is less than or equal to F. And therefore, the exchange principle would say, take out F and put in E. But if it's tied, then you throw away your F, you put in E, and you're making your tree look more like Alice's. And you simply repeat this process until your tree looks identical to her. And you said, look, I can transform mine into yours, and I never pay a penalty to do that. Question back here. What is C? A, a component. Someone specified a component in applying this constrained optimization problem. It doesn't matter who did it. You might have done it yourself. Your next door neighbor or management. They said, take C. But in this case, there's a component that contains those endpoints. So there has to be an edge that, when you chose that edge, why did you choose it? Why didn't you take E? And so that will force the weight of E to be less than or equal to F. So take out F, put in E. The tree can only get better. You make your tree look like Alice's. 